Hello everybody, um, it's really lovely to be here today. My name's Danielle Teal, in case you don't know me, I'm the Artistic Director of Dancing with Parkinson's and this is an introduction to the Dancing with Parkinson's online programme. So for those of you that have been dancing with me, even for a short time, um, I have really hope that coming online and doing the classes with myself and Yaka Skapin, our musical director, will be a really nice way to connect back with the community again. Um, and for those of you that have maybe never danced with us before, then welcome. It's really nice that during this time um, of the coronavirus, we can have different positive benefits, which might be to connect more widely with um, people with Parkinson's who want to dance together, but wouldn't usually get access to these classes. Um, obviously, for those of you that do dance with the Dancing with Parkinson's programme, it's uh, really difficult that we're not going to be seeing each other and that dancing in person, at least for a while now, won't be possible. Um, but Yaka and I have been working hard behind the scenes to develop some classes and workshops and content for you that will be able to take place online, that will have really close essence of what we are used to in our programme. So an opportunity to contribute creatively, and improvise as well as develop sequences together that we can perform to create art together. Um, the classes will have live music and Yaka and I will lead together in a way that we hope will be fully collaborative with you. Um, we've already met with a small group of um, advisors from the Dancing with Parkinson's community and um, we're bringing you two classes a week that are inspired by what we hope is what you need and want during this time. So I'm just going to introduce you to what we'll be doing and also um, some of the disclaimer information that you will need for health and safety purposes. So firstly, the classes that we're bringing to you, we're going to start with a Monday morning mindful movement session. So all the M's, an opportunity for you to connect with your body, to potentially find a sense of um, awareness of your physical space, of yourself, that you might not have had for a while, particularly if you've been stuck, self-isolated, and not really feeling, you know, that kind of daily connection to the body that you have when you come to dancing. So it'll be a very fluid, flowing class, an opportunity to wake up, start the week well, and feel really energised and motivated to continue. That will be every Monday at 10 a.m. And then on Wednesday, so in the middle of the week, we're going to have a groovy lunchtime session. So this is a more energising, more upbeat class. We're going to focus on some of the what we would usually do maybe from the mid to the end of a normal dance with Parkinson session. So lots of freestyle boogies, lots of um, rhythmic work, standing if you choose to, um, and really taking, you know, the fun elements of some of the music that Yaka and I work with, so some disco and funk and groovy type music. So that will be the second session and that will be every Wednesday at 2pm, so just after our normal lunchtime. So those two sessions are going to come to you every week and they will be taking place via the online platform Zoom. And I'm just going to talk you through Zoom in case there are some of you on here that haven't used it before. Um, we're going to work for eight weeks, so across the summer. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit about the payment methods that you can use to, um, to pay for a block of sessions or as you go. Um, and then finally, I just want to talk you through setting up your space so that you're safe and so that you can join in at your own risk, but in a as much of a risk-free environment as possible. Um, so to join the classes, first of all, you need to email. You need to email dancing.parkinsons at gmail.com. And the reason for this is that you will need to be sent a set up link for Zoom so that you can join the group. So once you've emailed that email address, you will be sent a link so that you can connect at the right time of day to the Zoom class online. And that email will come closer to the time when the class begins. Now, if you've never used Zoom before, it's very easy to set up 
and in the email that I've sent alongside this video, I've put a link so that you can download it onto your computer or your phone at home. Either is possible, you can actually join if you have a smartphone, but you don't get as full a view if you're on your phone. So my recommendation would be to download it onto your laptop or desktop computer. You register for a free account and you log in and then you find the link that I've sent you and you wait to be admitted into the meeting. It's called a meeting because Zoom has been set up for business purposes for meetings, but it works absolutely brilliantly for dance. And Yakra and I have been working on ensuring that settings are absolutely perfect so that we have the live music and my voice coming to you at the same time. So I think it's going to be a brilliant experience. Um, once you've been admitted into the into the meeting, um, you will be able to choose whether you want to have your screen on so that we can all see you moving, or if you'd rather join in privacy, then you can have your screen off so we can't see you, but you can see us. And similarly, I will ask you once we've all joined and said hello, to turn your microphone off. That way you'll hear myself and Yaka's beautiful music and there won't be any interruptions for sound. After class, we'll all turn our microphones on again because the classes are going to include some social time and we'll have an opportunity to have a conversation. And if there are lots of us, um, Zoom has a special feature where you can break out into smaller groups. And so we'll have an opportunity to have some smaller conversations, possibly with people that you know that you've danced with before. And the beauty of this being also there may be people you've never met before that you connect with across the internet. And the last thing I would say about Zoom is that we really recommend that you set up the sound coming out of an external speaker. If you have a speaker you can plug in via a jack to your laptop or a Bluetooth speaker, it would be brilliant because then you get the best of the sound. And obviously with Yakka doing the music for us, it would be wonderful for you to get that full experience. So... The second piece of information for you is um, around how you pay for the sessions. So these sessions will be charged and they'll be charged at five pound per session and that will be made payable via PayPal. So a link will also be sent to you when you register with a PayPal me link. And for that, you get three options. If you want to, you can pay upfront for the eight week block just for Mondays, just for Wednesdays, or for both. As it's five pounds per session, you can pay 40 pounds upfront for one class or 80 pounds upfront for two classes. However, if you would rather not commit to the upfront payment, you can also pay weekly and you can pay that at five pounds per session that you do and you will be sent a PayPal link each time. So that's absolutely your choice and I really hope that you will feel comfortable making that payment. However, if that is something that you don't, you don't feel comfortable with or is out of your reach, then please do get in touch with me so that we can discuss that and you can make a voluntary contribution of your own discretion. And lastly, the disclaimer that I need to give you is that obviously without being in the space with you, you will be taking part in this class completely at your own risk but I really want you to think about how you set your space up so that actually there is as little risk as possible. So I've got an example here of a chair that I think would be the safest kind of chair to use. It's sturdy, it doesn't fold, and it's tall enough that you can hold on to it if you felt that you needed to during class if you wanted to stand or sit, and if you wanted to turn it and do most of the class standing up, then it's got a really stable back. What I would recommend you do is not use an armchair, because an armchair is very bulky and might get in the way of the expansion of your movement, or a folding chair, which for whatever reason may not be quite as safe and may fold during class. Hopefully you have something like this, like a dining room chair in your home, but obviously, if you don't have one of those chairs and you still want to take part, you assume that responsibility and you take that risk with whatever pieces of equipment that you have in your home. Make sure that you can use as much of the space around you as possible. So take somewhere in your home, like I've done, and move the furniture out of the way so that you can really join in with as much energy as possible. 
Obviously, accidents do happen. So in case of an emergency, think about who else is in your home that you can contact, somebody that is in earshot in case you have a problem during the session. Think of a carer or family member who's in your coronavirus bubble so that you can contact someone on the phone if you need to. Or alternatively, ensure that you have an emergency services number 999 on, on hand if necessary. So that's it, that's our introduction. We're really excited to start these classes off online and we are going to be beginning on the 6th of July. So that's Monday the 6th of July with our Monday morning mindful movement class at 10 a.m. And then on the 7th, 8th, 8th of July, Wednesday the 8th of July, we'll begin our Wednesday lunchtime class. Really looking forward to seeing as many of you as possible. Take care and see you soon.